I know I'm a little late on these. I know I usually post them on Monday, but just running a little behind. So um, late post, but here we are. Being in the moment is something that is challenging for me and it's something that I've struggled with for most of my life and I still struggle with it now, even as an actor. Um, but I think there's a lot more life to be had when we live in the moment, um, a lot more meaningful connections to be made in the moment. And I'm not talking about like, you know, business connection. I mean, just like an interaction connection, just a lot more meaningful relationships can be born or birthed through that. Man, that sun looks pretty, man. It's coming through all this fog. That's nice. One of many things that my dad has taught me through the way he's lived his life is being in the moment. He does exactly that. He's a country man. So any of y'all who met him, you know, on that front porch, he's in that conversation fully. Um, and that's something that I try to practice every day. One way to practice that actually comes from uh, some advice that my father-in-law gave me, which is even if you have 10 to 15 seconds of genuine connection, you can give someone, give someone that genuine 10 to 15 seconds. Just this morning in the gym at our apartment complex, I was rapping with my guy, Brandon, and um, I wasn't expecting for us to have, you know, I don't know how long of a conversation it was. It might've been 15 minutes but just from a genuine connection, that 15 seconds, I was getting ready to come out and he was coming in and um, we, we just chatted the whole time. In that, it gave us both a lot of life. It, it kind of set the tone for the day, which was a positive one. Um, and it just created a genuine connection between two people, man. So there's, I've missed a lot, I've missed a lot of life because I haven't learned how to be in the moment. I missed out on a lot of life. I missed out on a lot of um, just beautiful moments. Even on the most recent project that I wrapped, which I can't talk about yet, but I'm excited to. Um, that was the first time I think I've ever allowed myself to fully be in the moment of what was happening. Usually I'm always thinking, you know, what's next after this? Or, you know, how this could possibly set up the next thing. Or, you know, three weeks from now, am I gonna be, you know, down and in the dumps because I'm not working or whatever the case, instead of worrying about all that, I just allowed myself for the first time probably ever during a process, like a production process, to truly be in the moment. Not in the moment as far as the scene is concerned, but in the moment as far as um, Frank the actor being like, this is a moment, this is uh, uh, my first like official feature film that I've been a part of. and taking that in, taking that experience in, being across from the actors that I got to play with, like taking that in, you know, in between takes obviously, but taking that in and reflecting on that. Um, and by me doing that and allowing myself to truly be in the moment of that and not worrying about the next thing or the next gig, that process is so much more of a richer one, so much more of a meaningful one. And that's not to say I haven't been in the moment and processes before, but it was a battle to be in the moment and process it before. And it's not because of the production or the shows that I worked on, it's because of me in my head. But this time I gave my permission to actually be in the moment. And it was a beautiful thing. It was a beautiful thing. And I've robbed myself from so many great moments in life. That's why like if someone asked me how something went, you know, I'm just like, oh, it was cool. And that's all I can say. Not because I'm trying to be, you know, coy or shy, but it's just like, that's literally all I can say because I wasn't in the moment. So that moment is lost in a way, um, you know, and that's sad to say even now, you know, out loud processing that with y'all, but like, that's the truth. A lot of moments I've had have been lost. If you don't remember, if you don't take nothing away else from this video, remember this, allow yourself to be in the moment aside from obviously traumatic experiences if it's a positive experience allow yourself to enjoy the experience fully remember what the cold air felt like on your skin remember the beautiful sun coming through the foggy clouds like remember those things and be in them live in them for a minute that's okay to do you know um but don't rob yourself from life don't rob yourself from living life and experiencing it let me know in the comments if there's um, any areas in your life where you struggle to be in the moment or have struggled to be in the moment have you overcome that or um, got through that or was successful in being in the moment 
What was that like? And if you haven't, what are some ways you think you can practice being in the moment more? As always, if you liked any of the content in this video, please take a moment to share the video, like the video, and leave a comment. And don't forget to visit my website at frankoakleythe3rd.com. Thank you. Peace. Beautiful.